Hello everyone. What you can see in front of you is a spam classifier app, okay, which is deployed on my machine. And I can predict spam or non-spam message from this app. For example, if I go here and write, hello, my name is Aman. And I say predict, the prediction is going to be not spam, okay? And if I go here and say, for example, something which is kind of spam like offer, discount, etc., then you will see that this model predicts as spam, okay? So this is one model that I have developed, built and deployed using just 10 lines of code max, okay? I'm going to show you the model, how I have deployed it, what is the project structure and everything about this. Please watch this video till end guys, because you may need this to showcase your work to someone else. Okay. Very important for freshers and newcomers in data science. So without any delay guys, let me open my notebook here and tell you what all we are going to learn in this. So very important to understand guys. I can't insist more on this. Your project structure should be very, very, um, you know, modular or industry standard. Because if you don't have this right, somebody who looks at your code will not feel good about it. Okay, so we will understand in detail project structure. Then I will take you to the deployment part. And then I will tell you what are the next steps in this same same line. Okay, you can call it episodic tutorial. So I may create an episode two based on your interest. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to my Visual Studio code here. And here, as you can see, guys, this is a on the left hand side, as you can see, this is the project structure that I have opened just now. And I will take some time so that you can understand why this structure is important, guys. See, I can simply in a note, uh, in, a, in a single Python file, write everything and show you, but that is not the way. Everyone should improve, okay? So try to learn how I am arranging my files. Very important, guys. First of all, if it's a machine learning model, there will be data, okay? So inside data, I have a data file input underscore spam dot CSV. You can see here inside data, I have input underscore spam dot CSV. And I can show you this file in this one. Okay. So it looks like this. Nothing fancy here. One column is your target column. That is V1 and V2 is your message. Okay. So a spam, not spam, spam, not spam like that. This becomes your training data. Okay. How many rows? Nearly five, five, seven, three, five, five, seven, two rows. Okay. This is your input data. Up to here, no problem. Then what we have is trained models. So I always say to people, keep your codes modular so that when you want to change a part of the code, it should be loosely coupled, okay? So trained model, I am putting in one folder. Vectorizer is another part of my model, which means you can call it in one way, model object or model artifact, okay? Docker file, we will not discuss now, but I am creating it for different purpose. Images, the image which you saw on the front page of the website. So for example, when you went here, right? You saw this image, right? So this image is coming from that images folder. Very important packages. In the packages, I have two files. One is called data preprocessor and other is called model trainer. Why I have kept these two files separate guides? I could have written all the logics of these two files in the same file, same one single big file. But for the modularity of the program, I have separated my model trainer and I have separated my data preprocessor. Okay, I will show you these two files now. Requirement.txt will anyway be there because if somebody wants to run my code, how the packages will come. Train model.py is what will train my model. App.py is actual app. Okay, that is running that website you are seeing now. Let's go to uh, all important files one by one. So data I showed you, Docker we will not discuss now. Images, we have the image that you can see on the front. Models, you have the trained model. Packages, you have these two important files. One is called data preprocessor.py, okay? In this file, I'm just taking sklearn feature extraction, sklearn model selection, just defining a function to give me the independent features and dependent features when I pass my training data. Remember why this is modularized because tomorrow I want to train my file on uh, train my model on some other input data, then it will be very easy for me. Okay. And then it will do a train test split here. Now, most of the codes you would be seeing in many tutorials, they will do all these things in the same file, which is not recommended. Okay. 
so data pre-processing in a different file don't bother you will get all these files okay just understand what i'm trying to explain you data pre-processing in a separate file model trainer in a separate file suppose in place of uh, multinomial nb i want to run something else right so i can modularize that put here and one place i will change and my entire model thing will be changing so an example of loosely coupled coding okay this is happening here in packages in vectors anyway you have your vectorizer object where from that vectorizer object comes you must be having idea by now so here we are passing a if you see count vectorizer right so it will produce a vectorizer i will not go into much detail of machine learning concepts but it will produce a vectorizer you know that concept right so from packages we have that from in vectorizer we are storing that okay and then train model dot py will train your model now see what is happening here it will just go you give path to data like this okay and you will call prepare data and you will call create test train and you will just call run model training done in these three lines your entire model training is done okay and here what we are doing we are just dumping our trained model to model folder and vectorizer folder that you are seeing here models and vectors okay so this is the main file which is calling all those files which you saw till now it's not difficult to understand simple to understand okay once you have the trained model then comes how do we deploy that model and that is where app.py comes into picture the last file okay the last important file as you can see here guys i'm importing something known as streamlit streamlit is a python package which makes your life easy to deploy your machine learning models which are lightweight I mean, it's not very complex oriented, um, you know, solution. We will go to that also in episode two of this video. Okay. So here, what I'm doing is I'm importing a stream set and I'm saying, Hey, go and load the model from this folder. Okay. Go and load the vectorizer from this folder and then come here. And this is a streamlit main function. So if you can see here, I have imported a streamlit as ST. I'm saying ST dot markdown. And this is what you were seeing on the uh front page of the website text classification app right so front page of the website text classification app whatever you want to write here you can write here okay so i will just change it i will say for demo just change it so that when i rerun it will come and images what image you want to put as i told you from images folder is taking image and see how simple it is guys text message you just say st dot text input please enter your message this is an expander expander means this thing expands okay like this and then a text message it will take and simply it will call the model and predict once the prediction happens it will return the result so it's very easy to create your front end using this what are you doing you are just writing a main function where you are saying give me a text box this is heading of my website and this is my expander take my model and do the prediction okay once this happens this is running now what i will do is i will stop it and rerun it okay because we have made some change right so i will say control c and then how to run this if you want to train the model you have to run python train model dot py okay but since the model is already trained i do not want to waste time on that just python m streamlit run app dot py at the moment you do like this it will give you a url where you can just uh, you know website is serving on that url Let's wait for just one moment. It will be same URL basically. So I can even go and refresh. I want to see this text changed here. Okay. Because we have changed the text, right? App for demo. So let it, it is reloading. Let it reload. Yeah. Text classification app for demo that I changed now. And if I want to predict now, hello, hi, it will just say not spam. And if I want to say, for example, discount, discount it will say spam okay now um uh, one important thing here guys you would be seeing i have a docker file also okay so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to dockerize this and i'm trying to run that container on aws eks okay i mean to say aws environment any using fargate or unique using any other service i just want to run this in a containerized box okay and that is what if you guys are interested right I will work on this Docker file. This is having some issues. Now I will work on this. I will take it to AWS and I will try to run it in either Fargate or EKS ECS kind of environment. Okay. 
So let me know through comments if if you want me to take this model to AWS and run it. Meanwhile, what I want you guys to do is take this code, do some small, small changes, play around with Streamlit and see how it is, you know, making your life easy. Remember guys, every time you show your work to someone, right? They should be able to feel the work. For example, if you tell me I worked on a loan default prediction problem, right? Um, that is good, but can you give me a URL where I can feel your work? So this way you can give me a URL also where I can feel your work and that adds value to your profile. Okay. So I discussed about next steps guys, and please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, if I get more comments, I will run on AWS in moment. Okay. See you all in the next video guys, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.